Today's food for thought comes from the seventh chapter of Zechariah, verses 9 and 10, which reads, Thus says the Lord of hosts, Execute true justice, show mercy and compassion everyone to his brother, do not oppress the widow or the fatherless, the alien or the poor. Let none of you plan evil in his heart against his brother. We are always looking for ways to improve ourselves and to make ourselves happy in our soul, right? I, I certainly hope so. So with that in mind, how do you go about trying to improve yourself? How do you go about trying to make yourself happy in your soul? For self-improvement and happiness, many of us, we will go the route of trying to drop all of the negativity out of our lives in order to find something that can make us happy. In order to do this, we may try to pick up a new hobby while dropping those things that aren't necessarily healthy for us. For example, we will drop terrible addictions or poor eating habits for trying to exercise routinely. And there's certainly nothing wrong with doing these things, especially if they help to uplift us in our soul. Now, if you want to continue to improve yourself and if you want to be happy with yourself, just listen to the Lord's advice as well. The Lord advised the people of Israel to execute justice, to show mercy, to show compassion, and to not plan evil in order to improve themselves. And guess what? The Lord's advice for self-improvement to Israel is great advice for us as well. You want to feel better about yourself? You want to make yourself happy in your soul? Well, simply do right by others. Love your neighbor as you love yourself. Show mercy. Be compassionate. Help those who you are able to help. Don't plan evil. Don't be malicious in your heart. We must understand that wickedness, it is poison to the soul. However, love, on the other hand, it is life for the soul. So you want to improve yourself? You want to be happy in your soul? Well, do right by others. Mm -hmm.